Hi, Lee Ashby here. Uh, today's WordPress video, we will look at updating a background image. We're using the BE theme by Muffin Group. Um, so we want to update this uh, microphone background picture here. You can see I've got the text over to the left and an image and an audio player on the left here, just letting the background image shine through. Uh, okay, so to update that, we will dive into our WordPress dashboard, which I'm sure you'll be getting familiar with. Um, that page is actually a portfolio item. Uh, so we would click on there, and oh, it's actually already in the page, but I'll show you where it comes from. So here it is. Here's my list of portfolio items. So find the one here, audio production. Click on edit. And we'll just give it a second to load. And here it is here. So here's the page uh, to edit. Now, using Muffin Builder, we don't actually use the default WordPress uh, building window. So we'll leave that alone and scroll down. Um, and here we get to the Muffin Builder. And it's divided up into sections. So the first section here is containing the heading. Um, and these gray areas are the wraps, which are basically rows in a table, if you like. Um, so we can see we've got the heading, the text and audio player is contained within this column, which is sized to one third of the screen. Um, and below that, we've also got uh, the image as well. So to update the background, it's actually in the section settings. So we click on this little pencil right here and that brings us to the section settings. Uh, so you can hear, see here straight away that we've got a background image. Um, so to change that, we would click on Remove Upload, and that allows us to browse for another picture. Clicking on Browse takes us straight into the library, um, and we can choose another picture from what we've already got uploaded. Otherwise, we would click on the Upload Files button and we could select files and we can choose something from our computer. But let's, for the sake of this one, let's, uh, let's just click on another background image that we've got prepared, perhaps this one, which is used for another portfolio item. Uh, so we just click on that. We can see here it's sized nicely at 1920 by 1200, which is not a bad size to go for a background. Um, so we would just click on select file. We get a little preview there. Just take you through a few settings here in the section setting while we're here. Um, so if you didn't want a image, you could perhaps choose a color. And the colors are written here in a hexadecimal format or on a, on a basic, basic name. Um, other settings here about um, positioning of the background. Um, I tend to leave these alone and pretty much auto covers most of these uh, different settings on uh, screens, so mobile phones, um, tablets, and laptops, and so forth. Uh, you can set video as well in the section background. And the other main setting I use here is um, the padding. So we just give a little bit of padding here just to um, usually to bring the uh, fancy heading text just down a little bit from hard up against the, um, the edge of the section. Um, the other settings I don't use very often, but you can add uh, some decoration uh, images over the top. Um, navigation, uh, I've never really used that uh, before. Um, and there's a few other more advanced sections there, which we can, can talk about another day. So to uh, save our new image that we've got here, we just scroll down and click on Save. And then we will want to update the page. So we come back here and press on the Update button and that usually takes three to five seconds um, to update. You can see here in the top corner here, we've just got a little refresh thing going on. So once that's finished doing its thing, we can click back on this tab and hit refresh. And that'll give us our nice new image background. So that's a really quick way of updating your background and, and giving your page a fresh new look. I'll be updating some videos shortly, so stay tuned for those.